Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you today about the level that you cut your yard at or the level that I've been cutting my yard at. I've been getting frustrated because the area that I had damaged in my yard that I've been talking a lot about is so much greener and looks so much better than the rest of my yard. And um, I thought maybe it's because of the way I treated it, um, the sunlight that it gets, or I didn't know what it could be. Finally, I've come down to the realization that it's a matter of the uh, how low that I cut that when I scalped it and the level that I'm cutting my yard at. And I'm gonna show you here. If you take a look, you'll see, I don't know if you could tell in this video how much greener that the yard is here versus there. And if you look down through, you'll see the same thing going all the way back down the yard there. So got a measuring stick out and I measured the yard where I have been cutting it and it's two inches and I've got a neighbor down the road his grass is really really tight looks really good nice and green but it's short I bet you that his yard is probably an inch if an inch and so it looks so much better so it looks so much healthier and so I got to thinking about the problem that I had this spring with uh, the fungus getting in my yard and how much trouble that I had getting rid of that fungus. And I think it's because of the level that I was cutting my yard at and um, the, uh, the way that the brown stems were coming up. I've just had the leaves on top. The fungus was able to get up underneath all that, stay trapped underneath all that, along with the moisture, and it wasn't able to escape, and so it was the perfect formula once the temperature started rising to form a fungus. So I got a, my uh, measuring again here, and I'm looking at that. I can see some of those blades there, and that's two inches on that. And I can measure that all around my yard, and it'll show that's two inches measure it right here a lot of woody stems and stuff on my yard i mean a lot of woody stems in there now i'm looking at this the spot where i just um, had to do all these repairs and now i've hit two inches there on that and i'm starting to see that it's not filling in very good it's there's some spots in there that um have just opened up and i think it's for the same reason that i'm just letting the grass grow too high now some places you may be able to hit two inches with your um, bermuda you may be hit able to hit more than two inches you don't want to um, i think two is the maximum range that you want but here where i'm at um, right now in my yard i think that those two inches um, two inches is too high so i'm going to go in here today i'm going to bag this unfortunately because it's going to leave a huge mess on my yard I'm going to bag it and I'm going to cut down to probably about an inch and a half and um, and we'll see how that goes and we'll see how the yard greens up. It's going to take about a week to recover from this um, and I'm contemplating maybe getting some PGF and uh, putting it out on the yard because it's a mild fertilizer, PGF complete, and we'll see what becomes of it. But I was going to give you an update on the yard here and we'll touch back with you.